I am Graham Posner. I am the technical director for theater at Center College. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Norton Center and Grant Hall. This is our entrance to Grant Hall. When we walk into the building, we're actually on the third floor. And over here is our admin's office, who uh, helps all of our students with various things, including uh, rental of music equipment, distribution of scripts, and other items such as that. Walking through here is just our print room, where we have our large format printer, as well as coffee and whatnot for staff and faculty. Moving into the Norton Center for the Arts lobby. This lobby has a variety of artwork that is on display around the year, and that gallery keeps changing. The entire Norton Center for the Arts was designed by an architect from the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation, so it has some really spectacular architecture. And from here, we're going to go up our stairs from the third floor all the way straight up to the fifth floor. So we are now on the fifth floor of the lobby for the Norton Center for the Arts and Newland Hall, which is our main stage. And welcome to Newland Hall. Newland Hall is our main proscenium stage. It is a 56 foot wide proscenium and seats at maximum just under 1,500 people. On stage there, you can also see the side walls of our band shell and our organ. And we're going to come back and jump down on stage there in just a few minutes. Moving back into the classroom side of things. We start off with our design studio. Our design studio is a space where students learn about various design aspects as well as have a space to work on things. We have drafting tables set up as well as four computer stations with CAD software, photo software, video software, and audio software. We also have our mini light lab where students learn lighting concepts and can try out ideas on a small scale before they bring them to the main stages. As we walk through the halls, there's a lot of history from our various productions over all the years. This building has been in use since 1973, so there is a lot of theater and performing arts history here. This room is our dance studio. We have a variety of dance class offerings and do a dance concert each spring.
Here we see our rehearsal studio. Currently it's set up to work on rehearsals for a musical, The Addams Family. And we even have a model here of our set that's being built downstairs. Over on the side wall you can see design renderings for the costume design for the show. And lastly, on the fifth floor, we have our black box theater. Now, the black box theater is a space where students can do their own productions, as well as a classroom, and host the center players, which do a variety of evening performances, including comedy nights, poetry readings, and other such items. This space has its own dedicated sound and lighting system, so students never have to worry about bringing in extra equipment. They have all their equipment already in the space. And moving on down, going down our fantastic triangular staircase. to the fourth floor. Fourth floor has a variety of classrooms on it. Everything from English classes to music classes, theater classes, all happen in here. The fourth floor also gives us access to our tension grid above our secondary stage, the Wizzaker Theater. What's great about this is it allows staff and students to work together to work on lighting, sound, and overhead effects without having to deal with any additional rigging, harnesses, or other such items. And so this is Wizzaker Theater, as seen from the tech balcony. Back into our stairwell, we're going to move down and we're going to actually skip the third floor where we entered and go straight down to the second floor. second floor is our stage level floor and our backstage area as well. Starting off here we have our costume shop. A variety of sewing machines and workstations are overseen by our costume shop supervisor. Some costumes that are getting ready for our next show are in here, and this is one of our chorus dressing rooms. In addition to the student productions that are done, Norton Center hosts a wide variety of guest artists, 
Everything from the Berlin Symphony to the Shanghai Ballet, Styx, ZZ Top, uh, national tours such as Finding Neverland uh, have all come through here. These are some of our dressing rooms. We have a variety of different dressing rooms for chorus as well as principal performers. The work that the Norton Center does with Center College is really wonderful. Uh, for productions in the building, all equipment is available for either piece. So we work very collaborative, no, collaboratively between the Norton Center and the theater program. In here is a storage room with some of our equipment. We have some of our lights in here and more are uh, up overhead as well as effects, sound equipment, projection equipment. Moving into the scene shop, currently the scene shop is coming down from working on a construction build for our musical. In the middle of the shop we have our saw stop table saw, which is a fantastic piece of equipment and uh, emphasizes the safety that is paramount in the shop. In addition to all the power tools, hand tools, dust collection systems, storage that we have in here, we also have a paint frame that will actually move up and down so that we can paint large-scale drops for shows. And we're walking through the loading door from the scene shop now onto the stage of Newland Hall. This is just under 1,500 seat theater. Underneath the grand tier is our control rooms. The orchestra lift does go up and down so we can set it to a variety of heights. We have 36 line sets that we can use to operate scenery or drops. And you can see the gold shell the ceiling is in and the walls can fold in to create a band shell for our orchestra. Here we see another room full of equipment that can be used for all of our different productions. For lighting, there is about 280 conventional lights in our inventory, 70 LED lights, and roughly 25 moving lights. One very exciting thing about the shows that come into the Norton Center, the professional shows offer opportunity for students to work with those shows directly, doing load-in, run crew, backstage work. We're now walking through the back loading door into the Wizager Theater, which is 367 seats. Wizager is a three-quarter thrust theater and offers a great deal of depth, roughly 40 feet from the edge of the stage to the back wall. Underneath on either side of the stage are audience exits and entrances as well as performing spaces to prep for the actors to come on stage. Overhead, you can see the tension grid with our lights on it and our sound system. Up at the back of the theater on the top is our control booth.
So that's our backstage stage level. And we're going to once again enter into our triangular stairs and head down to the first floor. The first floor houses a variety of things including storage and music rooms. So starting off, we'll see we have our storage for all of our costumes and hand props in here. Larger props and scenery is stored in a separate building so that we have the space. As you can see, we contain a pretty good stock of items. And we like to use these as well as create our own costumes from scratch or alter ones that we have. More music history on the walls as we walk down this hallway. Currently walking underneath the scene shop. So in addition to professor uh, offices down here, there are some classrooms, music locker storage, and a wide variety of rehearsal rooms for vocalists and instrumentalists. Coming in on our left is our orchestra rehearsal room. This is where the orchestra practices and they do a variety of performances on stage the, in the theater upstairs. Over here to the side is our access to the control booth for Newland Hall. And our last performance space in the building is the Audrey Giuseppe Recital Hall. A really beautiful space with wonderful acoustics. Lastly, we have the music department recording studio. The recording studio has four workstations, excuse me, three workstations, and the booth for vocal recording. Everything is able to be digitized and worked within the computers here.
And now we better go back up the stairs. To the ground floor where we entered. And that takes us back out the front door of Grant Hall, or the side door of Norton Art Center. And that's the Norton Center for the Arts, which houses all of our performing arts, both dance, theater, and music. I'm Graham Posner. I am the technical director for the theater program. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact department heads with all your inquiries.